before we start to review surface area and volume formulas, let's go through what some of the basic vocabulary are uh, related to that topic, the first of which is the area of the base shape. Now, the base shape is what determines what kind of prism we're talking about. So if the base is a triangle, we'll be talking about a triangular prism. If it's a square or a rectangle, we'll be talking about a rectangular prism. Recall that prisms then have lateral sides, which make up the lateral area, and all of the lateral sides for a prism are rectangles. So whatever the base shape is, the sides or the lateral area is always made up by the rectangles wrapped around that base. The total surface area is basically the sum of the areas of all the surfaces, which is the lateral area plus the two bases that make up the um, total area of the prism. The volume is just the measure of how much space that the object occupies, and its equivalent, or its, its measure is equivalent to the area of the base times the height of the prism. So let's look at a couple of examples to remind us how to calculate these values. My first example is a cylinder, and I know it's a cylinder because its base is made up of a circle. Now since the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared, I can find the area of this base using that formula. So since my base is a circle, my base area will be equal to the area formula for a circle, which is pi times the radius squared, and the radius is given to me to be 3 centimeters. So in this case, my base area will be 9 pi centimeters squared. The lateral area for any solid that I'm talking about is always the perimeter of the base shape, times the height of the prism. So to calculate the perimeter of my base, since it's a circle in this case, would be basically its circumference. So my lateral area will be the circumference of my circle, which is pi times the diameter, or 2 pi times the radius, times the height of my cylinder, which would be equal to, in this case, 2 pi times 3, which is my radius, times the height of my cylinder, which is 5. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 5 is 30, so this will be 30 pi centimeters squared. Once you have your base area and your lateral area, you can find your total surface area by adding that lateral area, which is 30 pi, to 2 times the base area, which in this case is 9 pi, which accounts for the area of the sides plus the two bases that I have, giving me my total area, which in this case will be 30 pi plus 18 pi, so that the total area is just 48 pi centimeters squared. So that's my total surface area. To calculate volume, The volume of my cylinder will be equal to the area of its base times its height. So the area of the base in this case was, again, 9 pi. So that's 9 pi times the height, which is 5, which gives me 45 pi centimeters. And since this is a volume measure, those are centimeters cubed. Okay. Now, you could repeat these calculations for any figure. In my second example, my base area, or the area at the bottom here, is a rectangle, but the formulas are still the same. The only thing that's going to be different is when I go to calculate the base area of my second example, since it's no longer a circle, I'm just going to use length times width. So the area of the base will be 3 times 4, which is 12 square centimeters. I'll again calculate my lateral area, which will be the perimeter of my base shape which would be 4 plus 3, which is 7, plus another 4, which is 11, plus another 3, which is 14. So I'll get 14, the perimeter of my base, times 5, the height of my prism, which will give me 70 centimeters squared. My total area will then be that lateral area, plus 2 times the base area. So in this case, that'll be 70 plus 2 times 12, which is 70 plus 24, 
or 94 square centimeters. And if I want the volume, that's the area of the base shape times its height. Well, again, the area of the base shape is 12 centimeters squared times the height of the prism is 5, which will give me 60 cubic centimeters.